Kevin, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Please, just don't touch me. What happened? I, I, I felt uh, a pain. I'm, I'm sorry. You, you, you felt a pain. What, what do we, what do we do? Nothing. I'm fine. It's, it's gone now. Please. Where is it? Where's the pain? It's in my left arm. Well, if he feels pain, doesn't, doesn't that mean something? Can you feel Ian touching you? No. Let me, let, let me try. Here. Look, please, come Lucy. Oh, come on. Will you just ahead. leave me alone? Take it easy, Collins. We're only trying to help. I'm sorry. I, I Would you please, you... Lucy, just leave me alone? Please. Why don't you get some air, Lucy? I'll finish the examination. All right. Lucy's right. Pain's a good sign. I'd love to get up and walk out of here, but only one of us is capable of that. Which puts me in a bad position because I have to beg you to respect my wishes. You get the irony here? Yeah, no, I get it. I'll leave you. Maybe I should tell you something first. You're angry, and I understand that. But that will not allow you to take it out on Lucy. Yeah, I'm angry. I'm angry that I was just getting my life together, and then this changed all of that in the blink of an eye. I'm angry that my little girl had to see it, and now it'll probably take her longer to get over it than me. And I'm angry that I ever let myself be talked into coming here. Which brings me to the most overwhelming anger of all, which means I get to sit here helpless while you're upstairs making love to my wife. Who thinks about fighting Caleb 24 hours a day? Not me, that, that's kind of you. I mean, it's all you can think about. And Jack, I mean, he's willing to go another round with Libby, even after all the things well, that, that she's done to him. He's, he's gonna he's, try and manipulate her to get the He's the only brain. one that she can trust right now. I know, but everybody has their purpose in this. I mean, Lucy does, Jamal does, Jack does, you do. It's not like I really want to put myself in harm's way, but I feel like I'm the piece of the puzzle that can make this thing work. So, so why can't I do my part? Because! You're the woman I love. You're the, you're the person that I'm, I'm supposed to protect above all others. I know, but am I your partner? Yes. I think sometimes I just... you forget who I am and who we are. We're both very strong individuals, but together we're invincible. Mm. I hate this. I know, you do. So, um, okay. <clears throat> Tell me what it is you want to do exactly. Okay. All I really have to do is go talk to Caleb, right? Flash some smile, and Livy's twisted mind will do the rest. She will take care of it. Okay. All right. But just know that I'm going to keep an eye on you, and if it even gets remotely dangerous. I know, I know, I know. You got my back. You always do. Yes. Come here. Hey, you two. Glad to see you guys. Hey, hey. Lucy. Um, how, how is Kevin? He's not worse, is he? No. No, he's not worse. He's certainly not better, though. Yeah. Um, Lucy, I'm so sorry. Is there anything else that we can do? No. No, you've, you've done plenty of things. I just... Oh, I needed to get out for a few minutes, you know, just get some fresh air. Yeah, I, I bet you did. Um, I'm sure you guys have some things that you could probably talk about, and I have some errands that I could go run. Hey. Well, I already know what you're going to say, and yes, yes, I will. Okay. Good. Love you. Um, that, you don't want to translate any of that, probably, probably not. No. I don't know if I can. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> what's wrong? I, I really thought Kevin moving in was going to be this great idea for Christina and for Kevin and get him better and but it's just turned all our lives upside down. I can't believe Ian has to deal with Kevin recovering and... I, you know, he was on the right track, though. Kevin's life was getting better. He had turned his life around. What is that thing about, be careful what you wish for? What'd you say? 
You know, I, I wanted so badly that old, horrible Kevin Collins. I don't know what he'd become to turn back to the old doc, you know, the nice man. And, and I guess I wished and look what happened. Uh, now, Luce, you know what? I think it's all starting to make sense. Okay, so, so it's not something you just thought about, right? I, I mean, you wished for Kevin to change, right? Uh, right. well... Yeah, I, yeah, I guess so. Okay, when? Why are you doing this? Why are you asking me all of this? You were with Jamal, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I was with Jamal. Now you're really scaring me. Come here. What? Sit down. Okay, what? I think I figured out why Caleb was willing to move mountains to get that ring back. See, the ring, it's so dangerous. It, it makes wishes come true. Did for Jack. Did for Jamal. And that's done it for you. This. I mean, I can believe it because I couldn't believe that Kevin would make such an amazing turnaround in his life. I mean, people just don't change on a dime like that. It wasn't some strange coincident. I, I just felt it. But wait a minute. Does that mean? Does this mean the, the wishes aren't real or what's happened isn't real or could, could the wishes just fade away somehow? I don't think so. Then maybe we could use the ring to heal Kevin. Um, think of all that power. Okay, um, there's more. Oh, but I, tell me, I want to hear it. What? Remember I was just telling you that Jamal threw the ring in the river? Yeah, you said he just tossed it in the river without all really right, thinking. Well, um, it seems that uh, Christina found it. My, my Christina? And she, she wished for something. Something she wanted really badly. What could she possibly have wished for that she wanted so badly? I mean, I try and get... She wished that her daddy and mommy could live together again. You said your piece. Now may I say mine? I'm not going anywhere. First off, Lucy is not your wife. She's your ex-wife. And there's a reason for that. And I'm not fooling myself. She would have waited for you for always. But you hurt her. And you kept hurting her until she had no choice. And there you were, with open arms. You think you're the only one that's angry? I'm starting the life with Lucy. Trying to build a home together, and never in a million years did I think you'd be part of that. But here you are, living with us. And I understand it's what's best for Christina, it's what's best for Lucy. I'm not convinced it's what's best for me. Lucy is going to be part of your recovery process. She's not good sitting on the sidelines. And she still cares about you an awful lot. Personally, I don't see it, but... Uh, it's the kind of woman she is. And that's what made both of us fall in love with her. And believe it or not, I know you're trying to help me. And if I don't seem appropriately grateful, it's because every time I look at Lucy, I see the woman I've been in love with practically since the first day I stepped into this town. And when I look at you, I just see the man who's sleeping with her. We all have our burdens. Need me. So, Lucy, what did your universe have in mind when it pulled this one on us? Oh, Rafe, you gotta be wrong. Kevin's living with us because of the accident. No, Kevin's living with you because Christina wished it before the accident happened. What are you saying? She, she would never, ever want him to be hurt? No, no, of course not. She loves him. But you and Ann had been happy. Kevin gave you the divorce. It would take something extraordinary to make his moving in even a possibility. So Christina got her wish. And Kevin may never walk again. <laughs>